Look at him. He needs a coat to stay warm. Meanwhile, I'm surrounded by the thing that's a symbol of cold. Snow. How can something like an igloo made of snow and ice keep us warm? I'll take a look outside. A stretch of beautiful pearly white snow. Majestic polar bears even. And igloos. A beautiful sight, right? That's somewhere near the North Pole for you. Well, igloos are built here because Look around. Do you see any concrete material? Or do you see forests for wood? No, right? So houses here are built with the only thing that's available around. Snow. Well, of course, primitive houses. Today's technology gives you a lot more access and so on. Now, to build a house, we do need bricks, right? Not these kind of bricks. Well, bricks for igloos are made of compressed snow from the ground. But they're not like the ice that you might find in your freezer. Ice is frozen water. This snow is formed when water vapor from the air freezes in the very cold temperatures. Ice is just solidified water. Whew. This snow, wow, has flown with the winds for a long time before it got settled on the ground. It has air trapped within it in the form of air pockets. In fact, almost 95% of what we see as snow is actually air. Do you want to see how? When water vapor freezes, it captures some air along with it and we get snow. And because of this trapped air, snow has more space between the water molecules. It therefore has a lesser density than solid frozen ice. And since air is lighter than water, the snow blocks, which are mostly just air, are lighter than ice blocks. Easier to work with. And this is one of the reasons why igloos are warm on the inside. Because of the trapped air, snow acts as a bad conductor of heat. It means that it does not allow heat to pass through it. So the air trapped inside the snow acts like a thick wall for heat. No heat going in or out. Then you don't see a fireplace out here. You might wonder, if the heat does not enter from the outside, what is the source of heat for warmth inside? Well, it is you, the human. When you are in a cold environment, your body temperature is much higher than the cold air around you. So heat flows from the body into the cold air and you feel cold. It's not that cold flows into you. But since we're inside the igloo, the heat does not get lost into the cold air of the environment. It stays inside. It helps keep the insides of the igloo warm. It's like you are your own personal heater. This is called insulation. You know, in fact, this is how exactly our sweaters work as well. They trap air in between the fibers, which keeps us warm because of our body heat. Can you imagine how it would be if the whole igloo were made up of solid blocks of frozen ice? Well, now that our igloo is filled with warm air, you can be comfortable and cozy inside. But only in its topmost part, right? Oops. <laughs> Why topmost? Well, if you have ever noticed a hot air balloon, right? The hot air helps the balloon rise up. That's because hot air is lighter, less dense than cold air. And lighter things rise. Warm air inside of Niglu stays in the upper regions and cold travels down is called convection. So to make sure that we stay at the warmest temperatures, people in igloos build leveled regions inside of the house. A platform is built at a height for us to move around in the igloo and stay in the warmest area, sleep and sit and things. In conclusion, when we move around inside, we lose body energy or heat to the cold environment. Since the air inside of the snow bricks is a bad conductor of heat, it traps the heat that is lost by the body. This makes the igloo warm. This is called insulation. And since warm air is lighter than cold air, it rises up because of convection. To give space to the cold air and winds, we build levels inside of these igloos just so that we can cold sink the air out of the top regions. 
That was quite an ice capade. <laughs> Do you think if more people stayed inside of an igloo, there'd be more warmth? Let us know in the comment section below about ice and about more people. Also, for such more cool learning experiences, don't forget to check out Byju's The Learning App. Until next time.